flowchart example, log in to a system. The following flowchart is going to outline the processes involved when logging into a system. Now, this is a very common process for many systems, so we're going to be sticking to the basics of entering in your username and password. And the other thing to outline with trying to understand this logic is this might be a subroutine that I have that I use for many of my programs because it is such a common process. So I want to get that logic understood in my head and hopefully you can understand the logic as we go through it. So we're going to look at this in the context of these following steps we're going to look at. So firstly, it needs to be able to allow the user to enter in that login and password. Now the colors are, that I'm using are by design in that I've written in blue, and that's to reflect that this is an user input, which means it's going to use the input output symbol, the parallelogram, okay, in order to get the user input of their login and password. Secondly, the system needs to verify that the entered login and password is correct. Well, that's a process. That's a process that needs to take place. And that's why I've written in pink to represent that I'll need to use that process system. And even uh, that correct helps me see which decision needs to be taking place. Okay, if that is correct. Thirdly, feedback needs provided back to the user if their login or password is incorrect. That is feedback, that is output. It is my input output symbol being used once again, hence why it's written in blue. Okay, and then once again, I'm highlighting a specific decision needs to take place if that scenario happens as well. And then finally, the main application will then open when the user's login or password have been verified. Okay, and so we're saying that provided everything is okay, the process that will take place will be open a program. And as I said, that could be very general in my flowchart because I might be using subroutine for many programs that I make. All right, so the application will open at this point. So let's start creating this flowchart now. And as we always start off with, I've got my terminator of begin, beginning my flowchart. From here then, I need to get the user login. I'm using the variable user log, and that's what will be recorded as when my user logs into the system. It's then going to check their login against what's stored in the system, and then that will involve a decision taking place. And essentially, this isn't a decision, it's a repetition. Does user log, the variable used to record their login, equal the login they've got stored on the system? If it is not the case, well, it's going to display login incorrect, and we need to get them to enter in another uh, piece of data to use as user log. And, potentially their login that is correct in order to get into the system. So they'll be stuck in this loop until user log equals their login. If they enter the correct login and the login is correct and they match on the system, we'll then move into the password territory. So we get a yes as our decision now, and we're going to get the user's password. And I've used the variable user pass here. Okay, it is then going to check whatever they've entered stored as user pass against what's stored on the database once again. Okay, and probably map to the login they've already entered as well in order to check their password. Does user pass equal the password they have stored in the system? And it's going to be that same step again. If it's not the case, okay, the password incorrect is going to be displayed. It's going to be a feedback once again, that output back to the user and prompting them to enter in another password that hopefully is correct. If they do get the password correct, then they're going to essentially be allowed into the program. And I've got it as said as a sub program there because I haven't really defined what program is opening and it might be a script I'm using for multiple programs. But essentially the program can open now. Okay, they now have access to the system and that will then finish off this flow chart there. Okay, they've got into the program. I'm happy with that. So I hope this video has given you an understanding, a very basic understanding of the logic behind logging into the system. Essentially, we've got loops happening, okay, to ensure that they enter in the correct login and the correct password. If they don't do it for either, they get a message displayed back to them as the user, okay, prompting them to enter in their login or password again. Okay, I've set up my variables too that I'm using for login and password, okay, and you can see that it's checking them against the system, okay, against pretty much another variable of login and password to see that it is correct, okay, against each other, and that's how they proceed through the system in order to open up the application. So I hope this has given you a basic understanding of the symbols once again and also how planning in its initial stage highlighting keywords helps you identify what symbols to use when creating your flowchart.